Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Today we will learn how to draw grass texture using Photoshop. If you like my content, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. First of all, I created a layer with a palette of green shades from light green to dark green. Thus, this will help us in the basic sketch of color spots of our future grass. I throw in our basic green tones using a standard Photoshop round brush. From light to dark, we work on our future grass. The light area will always be at the top of the composition, the intermediate green tone will be in the middle and at the bottom will be the darkest shade of grass. Thus we lay the foundation for the chiaroscuro construction of our composition. This is due to the fact that the sun is above and its light always brightens the upper ends of the grass. We have completed the first step and are moving on to the second. In the second step we begin to form the shape of the grass spikes with a brush. We take and work out the contours reassembling the outlines of the grass with a brush. Uh, first we make the outlines of the grass on a light tone of green and then with the same light tone we go to the darker areas. In this way we create our future volume of light and shadows in this grass mass. Copy the second layer and move on to the third stage. At stage number 3 we will work on the grass in more detail. This is an intermediate stage before the final revision. Here we begin to refine and detail the grass. It is important not to get carried away with details so as not to fragment our color tone composition. Allow yourself to apply half-tone green shades to the light areas and add light uh, tuft of grass in the shadows. At the same time, we do not draw each blade of grass separately, but use white brush strokes to preserve the overall mass of color and tone. So the final fourth stage of drawing the grass is that we shift the emphasis to details. Uh, now we work on the grass with a thin brush, carefully drawing each blade of grass. We add thin light blades of grass to large bunches of dark grass to achieve greater realism while maintaining the integrity of the light and shadow composition. Uh, we also add dark blades of grass in places to the light bunches of grass to give the structure even more volume. I also slightly faded the two dark areas of the grass with light brush strokes. Since I am satisfied with the grass at this stage but want to add some variety, I add single blades of grass of a light yellow shade. This emphasizes that the grass has faded a little in the sun and is slightly glaring. I also add small weed leaves to create a natural effect. To add volume and interest to the composition I draw white daisies and pink burdock flowers. I hope you enjoy my little grass tutorial. Remember, if it didn't turn out perfect, don't sweat it. It's all about the hours of practice that will eventually lead you to success. Keep at it and soon you'll be thrilled with your results. If you enjoyed this video, hit that subscribe button, give it a like and drop a comment below. Your support keeps me motivated to create more awesome educational content like this. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye.